Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. So tonight is a super blue blood moon. So this is something that happens very rarely and millions of people are going to be looking into the sky, looking at the beauty which the Creator has made basically. So just to relate this a bit to Sikhi and Asaki, a story by Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, our first Guru. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj once goes to visit a place called Jagannath Puri. <clears throat> and when they visit this place, the kings hear about Guru Nanak Dev Ji coming. Guru Nanak Dev Ji has become very famous now in Hindustan at the time. So when this is happening, they invite Guru Nanak Dev Ji and they say, Can you come and join us with our worship of the Creator, of the Divine? So Guru Nanak Dev Ji thinks to himself that actually somewhere where they're worshipping the One, I need to be there as well. How could I not be there before? So Guru Nanak Ji goes to this place, they, go, they come into this room and what these people are doing now is that they're worshipping an idol. And they've got this beautiful golden plate which is studded with different types of pearls and diamonds and Guru Nanak is going to join in with them. So they've got the violins playing, they've got the drums playing, they've got incense going on as well. And what happens is that Guru Nanak Ji is standing there looking at these people and they start to take a few steps backwards and backwards and backwards and they end up leaving that room. And now they're outside, they look at the beautiful sky and they're amazed by it. They feel with so much bliss, so much anand. And what happens now is that the kings finish doing their, their holy prayers and stuff and actually they look around and they see that Guru Nanak is not there anymore. So they say, where's Guru Nanak gone? And they go outside and see Guru Nanak is standing there, looking at the sky. They've got tears coming out of their eyes. They're so imbued by the beauty of this beautiful sky. And they say to Guru Nanak Ji, how come you did not worship with us? How come you did not pray with us when we're praying to the Divine? And Guru Nanak Ji goes, I was. Did you see me here praying to that one? And they didn't understand what Guru Nanak Ji is saying. And what Guru Nanak Ji was trying to explain to them was that actually you're trying to worship an uh, idol, but you can't see that outside in this beautiful sky, that the sky is actually worshipping that beautiful Divine God, the, the Creator. So what happens now is they explain what's going on and they sing these beautiful lines and they say Gagan mein thal rava chanda deepak bane tadaka mandal janak moti So Guru Nanak is explaining to these people Gagan mein thal Gagan he means the sky Mein thal, this is the thal, this is that golden plate that you're on about that you had in your hands This is actually the sky Gagan mein thal rava chanda deepak bane Rav he means the sun Chand he means the moon Deepak Bane, this is a diva. So they had a diva on their actual plate. They're saying that these are actually the divas that, you're, that you've got on your plate. And then they say afterwards, Gagarva Tharava Chandra Deepak Bane, Tadaka Mandala Janaka Moti. Tadaka He means the stars. Mandala Janaka Moti. Moti He means those studded pearls that you had inside that actual um, plate. So they're saying that the stars are actually those diamonds within that plate. What Guru Nadi is trying to. Um, explain to these people is that you've got this physical worship that you're doing using this plate looking at these different idols but the world is doing it anyway look at the beauty of the sun look at the beauty of the moon as well so for this reason tonight if we look at the moon the super blue blood moon and we see how beautiful it looks actually think to ourselves that this is what the creator has created this is what god has created vai guruji and for that reason let's realize if the moon is this beautiful tonight imagine how beautiful the one who made it is as well so when we look at it, we go, wow. And when we say Vahe Guru, that's the name that we give to God. Vahe he means Va, wow, Guru, that creator, that divine enlightener. So just some, um, just a Sikh perspective on this, that tonight when we look at the moon, let's realize that actually this moon is so beautiful. This whole creation is so beautiful. Imagine how beautiful the one who created it is. So let's try and connect to them as well. Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vaheguruji ka khalsa, Vaheguruji ki fateh.